Hey, it's Mickey Burton with Motion Restoration. So I'm teaming up today with Dr. Abelson to help you guys out with six of the best exercises to help you with your golf mobility. So first one I'm gonna show you is for hip flexors. So you're gonna get down on our knees. So we're gonna do our hip flexor on the right side. So we're gonna put our left leg forward. Now make sure it's not too far forward where you're reaching in too far and it's not gonna be too close to the body. So our goal here is we're gonna feel the stretch within our hip flexor. So leaning into it, and I actually like to put my toes down, but it's your choice if it feels more comfortable to have everything lay flat by all means. I like mine this way. Uh, also having a nice padded surface underneath your knee it will help out as well. So I want you to focus on bringing the hips facing forward and then you're pushing the glutes in and then I want you to push forward. So you're feeling a nice stretch on the front portion of your hip flexors here, having the body up nice and tall and you're gonna hold this stretch and then we're gonna back out of it. So we're doing more of a dynamic, active movement. And then coming in till we feel that stretch again, and then backing off. So we're gonna be repeating this for a total between 10 to 12 reps. And we're gonna do both sides of that as well. I'm just gonna show you the one side. So just like that, so between 20, 10 to 12 reps. Also remember, focus on your breathing. Just like that. So next up, we're gonna be doing glute bridges. So you're gonna be going onto your back. You're gonna be having your heels right around where your fingertips touch. And I want you to remember driving up through your heels at the top of a glute bridge, you're gonna contract the glute muscles. So this is a slower movement. This isn't just kind of willy nilly throwing your hips around because you're not gonna get the full benefits of it. So I really want you to remember at the top, focus on contracting the glutes. Now we're gonna be doing between 12 to 15 reps of this, okay? So we're gonna be pushing up through the heels, focus on contracting through the glutes at the top, and then back down, and then up, and back down. Focus on your breathing. So this is the only motion that we're gonna be doing between 12 and 15 reps. So next up, we're gonna be using our, you can use your golf club or else you can use a broom stick or a just long stick of any sort that you have. So we're gonna be moving to the upper body into our shoulder mobility, as well as into our core and our trunk. So first you're gonna be grabbing onto the furthest ends of either your broom or your golf club. So hands are gonna be facing forward. All you're gonna be doing is lifting up and I find it's best if you kind of have more of the pressure between your thumb and your first finger and then bringing it around so then it comes down and touches into your low back and then forward. So from the side, all we're doing is up touching down and forward. So you're gonna be doing this between 10 to 12 reps. There we go. Nice and slow, opening up the shoulder. Now I find it's easier the further away that you are than in close, because range of motion doesn't work that way. So the further out that you are, the easier it's gonna be for you to do. Just watch your head. Next one that we're gonna be doing for your trunk, so we're gonna place this on behind our neck here, just over our shoulders. And I want you to go about hip width apart with your feet. And I want you to really concentrate on your core. So get that belly button, pull it into the spine, and you're gonna be focusing on just rotating the upper body. So just rotating back and forth. It's gonna help with your swing. So keeping that core nice and contracted. So for this, because we're using two sides, I want you to do between roughly 20 to 24 reps with this. So about 12, 10 to 12 per side. And then a bonus one for your shoulders that really helps out. Again, you're gonna have that arms are gonna be on the furthest away. What you're gonna do is start with your left hand 
You're going to bring left hand up, touch down behind you, bring the right hand up, over, and then you're going to go reversed. Right hand up to your back, left hand up and over. So you're going to repeat this sequence, helps with shoulder mobility, just like this. So again, you're going to be doing between 10 to 12 reps. So in total, you're going to be about 20 to 24 reps in total for doing that exercise as well. So again, up, over, up, and over, and just keep repeating it that way. So next up, we're going to be doing a lateral lunge. So right now, just standing up, you're in your start position. Then you're going to be stepping out laterally, bending into left leg, keeping right leg straight, and then exploding back up into our starting position. One rep. So we're going to be doing 10 reps, sorry, 10 to 12 reps per side. So I'll show you left side first, and then I'll show you on the right side. So out and down. Another thing to remember is not to cave in too much. So try to keep that uh, knee behind the big toe. And then come back up. So this is the motion that we're going to be doing. You can obviously put your hands anywhere you would like. I always just put mine on my hips. But if you're more comfortable with them being in front of you, by all means. So between 10 and 12, and then we're going to switch to the other side. So same thing, get nice and low. Really try to feel it in that glued area. You're also going to be working into the adductors as well. All right, so the final exercise that I'm going to be showing you is a single leg deadlift. So for this, what we're going to do is find an area. I it also works really well if you have a focal point, something to look at just for helping out with your balance. So what you're going to do is put all the weight into my right leg, and then left leg is going to come up as we bend over, hinging at the hips. There we go. And then coming back up, contracting through the glute muscles. So remember to try to keep your hips forward, not tilting away. So if this is all you can do is just going to around here, that's okay. Still remember to contract that glute muscle that you're standing on. So between 10 to 12 reps per leg. Just like this. So I also find going nice and slow does help with my balance. Now if you do have to put your foot down, that's fine. Keep those hips squared. Just like that. And then when you're done your 10 to 12 reps, you're going to switch sides. Remember, contract that glute, especially at the top of that movement. This really helps with that mind muscle connection, too. Just like that. There we go. So that is six of the best exercises to help with your golf mobility. And again, it's Mickey Burton here from Motion Restoration working with Dr. Avelson. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe.